So what we have here is just a poster board from the dollar store. It is important that you pick out one of those thicker ones that are kind of made of that styrofoam texture and set up those kind of uh, just posters where you can kind of roll them up. This is going to provide a nice rigid background for your flowers and all you're going to have to do is just stencil out whatever design you want. So today we're going to make a butterfly and I did one heck of a job <laughs> kind of stenciling this out. I just freehanded it, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. And the reason for that is you're going to cover it with flowers anyway. And even if they're not even or the same or perfect or anything of that nature, we're going to uh, be able to manipulate the flowers and get them positioned perfectly. So to cut this out, we're just going to use one of our box cutters. This is what we use to open up supply boxes. You are going to want to make sure that you have a nice sharp blade. And then just follow out you know, that outline. So it is important to have that outline uh, or else you're going to have a very difficult time figuring out where to cut. So once you cut this out, and I'll show you guys just a little portion and then we'll come back with the finished cutout. So here we have our butterfly cutout. As you can tell, it's not perfect. But stick around to the end. You're going to be really surprised with how cute this turns out. So to cover it up, we're actually going to use these beautiful tulips. And we have all of these in stock as well as other colors at nickseasonaldecor.com. And I was thinking today, let's stick with this fuchsia, this light pink, and this white. So we're going to use between one and two bushes of each. So to pop them off, we're just going to simply pull them right out. We're not going to use the greenery for this, so feel free to save this greenery for another project. So just pull them right off nice and easy. So I'm just going to apply some hot glue, and this tool is a lifesaver. Trust me, you guys, if you're still using a glue skillet, make the switch over to a glue pot. And all we're going to do is just take those flowers and just hot glue them on. So you're not going to see the stems in the end. They're going to be covered up. That's three. Let's do a couple more up top at a time. You don't want to do too much because the glue will solidify before you have the chance to put them on. And if that's the case, just come back in with more glue. It's not a big, big concern. So that little green stem that you saw in the beginning, you don't see it anymore once you add those. So let's break down a second spray. Let's continue with more of these lighter pink tulips. And you can do as many colors as you want. You know, if you want it to work in three or four colors, or if you're designing this for a little kid's room, uh, or somebody that loves butterflies, you know, just choose the color that you think they'd like the best. Come back in with a few more. And then we'll make the switch to our next color. Or we'll finish up the pink on the other side, and then we can make that switch. So I popped a few more tops off and we'll place them here. Whatever we have left, we can always use in a floral wreath or we can create a lantern swag, add it to some planters that we have or anything. A little more hot glue. And then place our final one there. So now we can switch over to our next color and I think this is turning out really cute so far. So the next color we're going to deal with is going to be the hot pink and I think this is going to add a nice contrast but not make it too colorful because I think just keeping it pinks will look really nice. So we'll do the same process, just pop the tops right off and then we can work them in. So let's break down three of these to start. Now it's time to come back in with our next layer and I want to do these in opposite directions because they're separate wings and they should face in the different directions. So we'll start with the hot pink facing downwards and then somewhere in this region we can have them meet up. And if you wanted to, you could use a hot glue gun. I'm just so used to using my glue skillet. Place this one here and I think those pinks are going to look really nice together. And all you really need is just one or two petals to grab and hold it in place. Place one there. Take our end piece, place it there. See how we have that little defined spot where the two wings meet? Then we can just place some hot glue and stick that one like that. So they're all meeting up and there's no gaps. Another flower there. So like I said, this won't last a lifetime outside. I think you can get at least one or two seasons out of it, um, especially in between a uh, screen door since it's not overly wide. But if you keep it inside, this could last many, many years. So do the same thing on the other side now. 
Okay, time to create our body. So the color tulip we're going to use, like I mentioned earlier, I think white will add a nice look. So we'll just work in these white ones and we'll do the same exact process where we pop off the tops and work them in. So we're going to just take two at a time and create a little body. So I actually want to elongate the body a little bit. So to do that, we'll take some hot glue on just one tulip and place it sticking out. So we want the mid portion to be the widest and then we gradually taper off up top and down below to just a single flower. So we placed one tulip on either end and now we're going to work in a few more to the sides. That way we have the widest portion to be towards the middle. So just apply some hot glue and work them in. And we're going to do a similar thing as to what we did with the, the darker pink tulips where we're going to have some sticking out kind of straight up because I want these to go upwards and downwards and in the middle we want them to meet like we did here. And while the glue's still hot, you can just fluff them out a little bit. So I think it'll be fun and maybe we'll give it a shot here on Home Talk to create a star-shaped one for the 4th of July. I think that'll look really cool. And you could do red, white, and blue. You can also create uh, the flags. You can just create it by cutting or keeping the entire poster board intact and then just work in your flowers as the stripes and the stars. So there's our butterfly. You can either have it facing like this or the other direction. I don't think it's really going to be noticeable which way is up and down. So now let's work in the antennas and then I'll show you how to create a hanger. So we also have these poppies in stock in a bunch of colors and I'm going to be using these flower heads a little later on today but I don't need the entirety of the stems. So I love how fuzzy they are. They actually remind me of real poppies and we're going to turn these into antenna. So again I don't need the full length of stems so we'll just snip two blooms off and antennas aren't going to stick straight out like that are they? So what we're going to do then is we're going to take them and we're going to just curl them up around our finger And you might have to tweak them a little bit to get them kind of that perfect little curl like that. So once you do that, we can take it then, lift up that tulip or place it on the side, whatever is easiest, and have them go in opposite directions. So then we'll just flip it over. And to create a hanger, I mean, of course, the back isn't going to be perfect. You know, I did tear a little bit of the paper off, and it's not going to matter. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, twist it secure, and then I like to just twist it even more so to make sure it's not going anywhere. Take that stick of glue, apply a generous amount, and then take your pipe cleaner. So I'm going to be a little bit more particular and make sure that that pipe cleaner doesn't go any further past the actual frame because I don't want to see that pipe cleaner. Then you can just come back in with a little length of ribbon. All I'm doing is I'm just cutting some of the ribbon we have just to cover up that unsightly glue. And it's already secured. So we'll give that a minute to harden up and then we can show you the finished product. Okay, and here is the finished butterfly in all its glory, and I think it turned out so cute, and it was so simple to make. And as I said earlier, don't be so picky about, you know, tracing an outline. If it's not perfect, in the end, the way you position your flowers will take any imperfections away. So have fun with this, you guys. Create different shapes, different styles, you know, for different seasons and holidays as well. You can also choose whatever colors you want. So thank you so much for watching. This is Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and you're watching me on Home Talk. Bye, everyone.